In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can set up your own business without having to stress about money. One of the number one reasons that people don't go and set up their own business is because they stress about money and worrying about how they're going to survive if they don't get any customers, they don't get any clients, and they're not able to put food on the table, cover their rent or cover their mortgage. So in this video, what I'm going to do is share with you a process that's worked dozens of times with people that enables you to be able to move forward, take progress, but without having to have that fear and concern and have those sleepless nights. So right now, if you're working a job and you want to look at transitioning into running your own business and the fear of money is one of the things that's holding you back, then this process is absolutely going to work for you. What I've found over and over again is that quite often when people first decide that they want to go and run their own business, as a general rule of thumb, they're earning more money now than they have done for a period of time. And this is what I call their lifestyle budget. They've got a custom to earn a certain amount of money that comes into their bank account every single month that enables them to live a certain lifestyle. Now, it may not be the amount of money that they ultimately ultimately want that I completely get. But what it's done is it's enabled them to maybe have certain experiences like holidays, go out and buy certain things like clothes or what material items they might want to buy. And this is one of the biggest issues that people have because they think that when they start their business in month one, they need to go straight to earning this amount of money. So what I get them to do is identify what I call a survival budget. So what you can do is have a look and go, right, what's the minimum amount of money that I need to earn just to survive. So this covers my rent or my mortgage, put foods on the table, I can cover the minimum bills that I need to cover. We're not talking about going out and having dinners out every week or going on luxury holidays or anything at this stage. We just wanna know what's that minimum amount of money that we need to earn for a period of time. Once we've got clear on that figure, then we know, great, if we're earning and we've got this amount of money coming in, we can survive for a period of time. And what I recommend people do is they think about this amount of money that they could survive on on a monthly basis for really a maximum of six months, ideally a maximum of three months. So if you know you've got to a point whereby you're earning this amount of money for three months, then you know you're going to be okay. The reason that we look at this is because it's highly likely that if you were to just leave your job tomorrow and go and set up a business, you're not gonna have a flood of clients that are gonna be able to come and work with you from day one and enable you to earn the amount of money you want to earn. So the idea is that whilst you're working your job by doing things in the morning, the evening, weekends, we can build up to this survival budget to enable you to have the confidence to take the leap of faith, knowing that for at least three to six months, you're going to be able to survive. Now, for some people, it may well be that they just do not have any bandwidth in the mornings or evenings or at the weekends to be able to earn that extra money. So the other thing that they can do is save a certain amount of money that will enable them to be able to have three or six months at the survival budget to know that if they left their job, then they can survive for those three or six months without a penny of income coming in. And then in that three to six months, they work on what we're about to share with you in a moment to make sure they're getting the money coming in at that point that they need. So whichever way you decide that you wanna do it, whether you're gonna save the amount of money that means you can cover yourself for three to six months, or you generate the amount of income coming in on a part-time basis, knowing that for three to six months, you can sustain earning that amount of money that's gonna at least mean that all of the bills get paid. Once you've done this, you're gonna be in a position to be able to leave your job. Now, depending on, on what you think is gonna be realistic for you to be able to get to that amount of money, whether it's save it or be able to generate it as a part-time income, then what I encourage you to do is think really, really carefully about how long that's going to be. Now, don't give yourself too much bandwidth. Give yourself the shortest amount of time that you feel it's possible. Once you know that time frame, so let's say, for example, it's six months. It's going to take you six months to be able to save the amount of money that you need so that you can cover yourself for three months. So it's going to take you six months to earn the amount of money working on a part-time basis to cover your outgoings on a monthly basis as just to be able to survive then at that point what you do now once you've identified that time frame what you do now is you write your notice now you might be thinking well i can't write my notice now if i give him my notice then my boss might say well no you need to go straight away I'm not saying that you give in your notice, but you write your notice. So if you have a one month notice period, but you think it's gonna be six months, then you write your notice and date it for in five months time. 
you write the letter out, you put it to your boss's name, you date it for the date in five months time, you sign it, you put it in an envelope, you seal the envelope, you write your boss's name on it, and you put it somewhere where you're gonna see it every day. Maybe where you get ready or when you get out of bed on the bedside cabinet, wherever that may be. What this is, is an intention of how serious you are to making this change, and it works every time so then you might be thinking but will i'm still only earning my survival budget well that's fine yes you are earning your survival budget but what you've got to remember is you are earning your survival budget by working part-time so it's highly likely if it's taking you five or six months to get up to that survival budget working part-time when you're able to put all of your time into that process then you will find that the amount of income that you generate goes up so much faster in those later months so there you have it this is how you can go and start your own business without having to worry about the financial stress and there are some really practical ways for you to get going number one is identify your survival budget and either earn by working part-time or saving up to that amount of money. Number two is write your notice to your boss and date it when you know that you're gonna be able to give that notice in when you're at your survival budget or you've saved the money to be able to cover yourself for a handful of months. And then number three is have the confidence in knowing that at that point, you're gonna be able to earn back up to your lifestyle budget, which is what you really wanna be earning within a shorter period of time because you're gonna have a lot more hours to be able to focus full-time to be able to get there. I'm going to be sending a free copy of my book, North Star Thinking, Master Your Mindset and Live a Life You Love to someone that comments on this video. And if you're loving this video, then hit like and subscribe to get more.